Hey everybody, it's 13th Wolfman. You know what today is? Today is day 11 of the 31 days of horror. That's right, 31 days of horror. 31 movies, 31 days. You get the picture, yeah. Now before we get started, I want you to do a few things. I want you to like, subscribe, share, and comment. I always want to know what you have to say. When you do like the video, it helps to get out to other people so that they can watch. There are other people also doing the 31 Days Project. The one and only MSJ, a.k.a. Brother Max. I am the Ice Lord. Tony has nine fingers. Ask him all about it. He loves telling that story. Why he has nine fingers. Uh, Double Shot J. Carly, 317. Retro Horror, Random Horror. And a lot, a lot of other people doing this. It's, it's a very... Retro Horror is doing a hundred movies in 31 days, so kudos to him. That's a fun thing. So, I got a question for you. What do you get when you cross a little bit of a universal monster thing with a European flair? You get the movie that we're talking about. This, this uh, movie is directed by Amando Diasorio. Yeah, Amando Diasorio. The man that made a night of the night of the sorcerers, and he also did the Blind Dead collection, which is Night of the Seagulls, The Ghost Galleon, uh, Return of the Evil Dead, I believe, you know, and and a few other, you know, there, there's like four movies. I can't, I, I have a hard time remembering the fourth movie, but there are four movies in the quadrilogy, and it's all about uh, Templar Knights. You know, coming back from the dead. And, uh, it's... I wish I had it. This thing was put out by Blue Underground for 13 years in a specialized coffin box. And every time I ordered something, I'm like, I'll get it next time, I'll get it next time, I'll get it next time. And then they quit making it. 13 years of saying, I'll get it next time, I'll get it next time. And they quit making it. I shot myself in the foot with this one. Um, I can't find it. I would love to have a copy of this, you know, so, because I do remember watching these as a kid. So, yeah, uh, Armando Diosorio came up with this idea. He took an old legend of uh, sirens and mermaids and threw a twist on it. And you got a boarding school with, with you know, it's an all-girl boarding school set in this little Germanic town. Um, and there's a creature that is, that has got to feed, that has, that has to feed on seven hearts in order to keep their immortality. You know, if they don't feed, then they'll just wither away and die. But this, this, this creature known as the Lorelei has been around forever. And um, it's watching over uh, an ancient treasure. It's set in modern times, which is, for, I think, for the time it, it was, was 1973. You know, and um, yeah, it's it's one of the coolest movies. I, I found the pacing to be uh, well done. I, I found the acting to be well done. It has that European flair to it that I like, and the movie is... The Lorelei's Grasp. Yeah, right there. Lorelei's Grasp. Again, both these movies here are 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 made by Amando Diasorio. Um I like the Lorelei's Grasp a little bit more than I like Night of the Sor Night of the Sorcerers was okay. Could have been better. This was definitely better. You know, I, I liked everything about it. They had the like I said, it had that European flair to it that I really like. They take, they take their movies so seriously, no matter how good or how bad the script, you know, the the, the story is. 
they're 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 a hundred percent for it. And uh, the Lorelai's grasp they had a good story. There's all these girls going to a boarding school, like I said, it's in a Germanic town, and they hire they hire a local hunter to kill what's known as a Lorelei. No one knows what the Lorelei is. It kind of it kind of looks like, you know, if the creature from the Black Black Lagoon, and the Gorn, from the original Star Trek series, kind of merged and had a little bit more spiky scales on it. I mean, that's kind of like what the Lorelei looks like. It's a it's a cool movie. They keep the look of the go the, the Gorn. They keep the look of the Lorelei uh, in shadow for a lot of it. I mean, there's a there's a reveal at the end, but they 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 want to keep you guessing as to what's going on. And I like again, I like that. I think uh, Armando Desorio he all, he wrote and directed this movie, and I think he did a really good job. Uh, 1973, so this came out around the same time as movies from the Blind Dead collection. You know, so I, I really want people to see this one. Th this was a fun movie. Uh, it's from Spain, even though it's got a, this little Germanic town to it, you know, this little town that looks like something out of Germany. Um, it's It was obviously made in Spain because that's where Amando's from. And, uh, yeah, I mean, who was the actor? I'm trying to think of his name. I can't, uh, uh, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, just, the, the funny thing about watching, like, Euro films sometimes is, like, every now and then, you'll throw something like this in, and you'll go, oh, wow, okay, uh, I don't recognize a single name. <laughs> so, you're in for something interesting when you don't recognize who's in it. You know, you're like, oh, okay. Uh, well, they weren't bad. And, and they, you know, it, it just, it's just, it's a new experience, you know. It's like going to Flavortown, I guess. But, uh, yeah, The Lorelei's Grasp, definitely worth watching. This, this made... This made up for um, Night of the Sorcerers. Again, Night of the Sorcerers wasn't a bad movie, but it could have been better. But this made up for it. So that's it for The Lorelei's Grasp. Of course, I am the 13th Wolfman. I'm on the prowl.